Welcome to Sheep School. So today I have uh, Pops with me here. She is uh, one of the stars from my uh, videos you may have been watching. So Pops got her name from my little girl Ada, uh, who named her Poppy when we got her as a pup. She was about six months old. Uh, she's now five. But Ada named her Poppy, and we soon realized uh, she needed a single syllable name. So her name was shortened from Poppy to Pops. A single syllable name generally works better uh, with a, a sheepdog or a working dog. So she's now uh, five years old. I could not manage without her. Uh, she has a couple of flaws, but at the same time, uh, I never trained a sheepdog before. I suppose I started training her, um, I, I trained her to, to, to a stop kind of command, and then I started training her, uh, which, I started training her actually on a, on a long lead out in the field, which probably goes against all advice when you're training sheepdogs, but I had no experience of training them. Um, and one day we had a batch of lambs, um, she had some, uh, idea of her left and right uh, come by in a way and uh, we had a good stop on her so one day we were trying to get a batch of lambs in and we couldn't get them in and uh, the old dog uh, had gone blind at that stage I think she got cataracts and she was out of action so me and the little dog Pops were trying to get in a batch of uh, yo lambs uh, with her on a long lead and uh, it just so happened I said this is it, I'm gonna have to go for the quad or you're gonna have to uh, do the business. So I let her off the lead and within a few minutes we got the batch of uh, lambs into the pen and we never looked back since that. So I think uh, something just clicked that day and we've worked well ever since. Now something else that you can probably hear in the background here. It's a, a yappy little litter of uh, pups. So, I'll just give you a look at them. Are they not the cutest little things you've ever seen? So Pops was a little dog I got for nothing. I'll be honest with you, uh, I was doing a job for a dairy farmer. He had uh, a litter of pups. He offered me the pup. And at the time, I had a really old sheepdog, and I said, sure, you don't look the gift horse in the mouth. So I took a chance on Pops, took her home. My old sheepdog went, started to go blind very quickly. So Pops came out, and we started doing a bit of work, and she came into heat. I said, we're able to work so well together. I said, I'd try and get a litter of Pups from her. So uh, a friend of mine with a really good dog who's into uh, novice dog trialing. He's uh, up and coming in that field. So he offered uh, stud services to my uh, little dog Pops. So this is the little litter. Now I am quite drawn to this little lad. And he, funny enough, he's quite drawn to me. Now he is the runt of the litter, but a beautiful wee pup. Stay so has anyone any advice or knowledge or uh, what is people's thinking on how would you pick a pup from this litter uh, to be a replacement for Pops? Now she's only, Pops is only five, but I suppose every farmer likes to have a, a backup plan and just in case anything would ever happen to Pops, uh, and I suppose, with the time it takes to train a sheep dog, by the time you'd have a dog trained, um, she's gonna be getting on. So my plan is to keep a puppy from this litter. Uh, so if anyone has any uh, knowledge that they would like to share in the comments, uh, it'd be great to hear from you. Let me know how you go about picking a pup from a litter. 
uh, with the potential of a replacement for my little dog Pops. It'll be great to hear from you. Thanks for watching.